Hello everyone. In this difficult world, if there is anything that instantly amps up our mood, it's having Yellowstone and 1883 back to back. The two are the perfect complementary series to each other, with a lot of references and hints to one another. Since it has been a while since Yellowstone first stole our hearts four years ago, and continued to be a hit for us, it was easier for its prequel, for 1883 to be a favorite for us afterward, that being said, 1883 also held even tighter standards by the fans, including us, since we started to compare it to Yellowstone immediately. Thankfully, it was pretty good and had almost all the good qualities of Yellowstone despite taking place in a completely different setting. The biggest similarities of the two shows were their cinematography, compelling plot, realistic high stakes, and, of course, bold and emotionally great characters. To be honest, while watching 1883, we got the sense of why the Duttons are the way they are since there was a clear family resemblance between the two sets of characters. Even the ones who didn't belong to the Dutton family were looking like they would be a perfect fit for Yellowstone, as their entire personality and manners were just perfect for the ranch life in modern-day Montana. Thus, when thinking about Yellowstone Season 5 cast, we couldn't help but think what would have happened if a cast member from 1883 would join the show. The first name that comes to mind as a possible candidate for such a part is Innie's. Why? Well, simply because we loved watching this character as a cowboy, but couldn't get the chance to get to know him better as he got killed. Besides, Eric Nelson is an amazing actor who needs more screen time in the Yellowstone universe. His character Innies was a simple cowboy from Texas with a kind heart and friendly manners. Unlike many of the stereotypical portrayals of the cowboys of the era, he was always a gentleman and filled with compassion and respect. Naturally, we loved him and thought he would be a perfect match for Elsa. The couple's dynamic was also very cute. Even though Elsa fell in love with Sam after Innie's death, we think her chemistry with Innie's was much more charming and we wished for the two to get a happy ending, which never happened. Eric Nelson cannot join the Yellowstone cast as Innie's because of multiple reasons. However, we believe he can easily play the part of one of the descendants of Innie's. Innie's might be his granduncle, for instance. To be honest, he might even join as a completely different character and it would be okay since he is a good enough actor to differentiate his two characters from one another. All we know is Eric Nelson should come back in one way or another, since he is a massive hit among fans and Taylor Sheridan wouldn't miss the opportunity to please the crowds with some fan service. Apart from Eric Nelson, we expect to see Kevin Costner, Luke Grimes, Kelly Riley, Wes Bentley, Kelsey Espill, Cole Hosser, and Brecken Merrill return the Yellowstone season podcast as usual. The only name that we expect to be missing from the cast is Will Patton, who was playing the part of Garrett, the biological father of Jamie who was killed by Jamie himself in the season 4 finale. Who do you expect to see in Yellowstone season 5 cast? Would you like to see Ennies in the cast? Do you think he would suit the Yellowstone environment as a character? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.